हेलो एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ के के पंकज ऑन आवर स्क्रीन डी एल एनर्स टूडे विल स्टडी अबाउट द टॉपिक मैप्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल स्टडी अबाउट मैप्स देयर टाइप्स यूजफुलनेस एंड मैनी मोर एस्पेक्ट्स एसोसिएटेड विद इट बिफोर वी बिगिन टूडेज टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू रिमाइंड यू ऑल that if you haven't yet subscribed our youtube channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon to receive the further notifications so let's begin today's topic dear students earlier you have studied about the globe what is a globe we know that a globe is a model of the earth it gives us true picture of the shape of the earth maps dear students when we want to study only about a part of the earth a country a state a city or a village we need to use a map what is a map the representation of the earth's surface or a part of it on a paper is called a map cartography what is called cartography the art of preparing maps is called cartography cartographer one who prepares maps is called cartographer atlas collection of maps in the form of a book is called atlas now we will study about the types of the maps types of maps there are three types of maps physical maps political maps and thematic maps now about these maps we will study in detail physical maps maps which show natural features of the earth such as mountains plateaus rivers and plains are known as physical maps here you can see the picture of physical map here you can see all the natural features are shown here himalayas great indian desert next political maps maps showing districts cities towns states and countries and their boundaries are called political maps here is political map next thematic maps certain maps which provide specific information about roads building structures railways rainfall crops population etc are called thematic maps here you can see the thematic map components of maps dear students to study any map we need to understand certain basic concepts which are given here scales of the map direction or cardinal points symbols or conventional signs all these components are essential from the point of view of the clarity and authenticity dear students we can say these components makes the studying of maps easier and convenient scales the ratio between the distance on the map to the corresponding distance on the ground is known as scale distances are shown with the help of a scale dear learners when the area to be represented is large 
such as a country, a continent, we use a small scale. But when the area is small, a large scale is represented. Magnetic compass. A compass is an instrument used for navigation and orientation that shows direction relative geographic cardinal directions. Dear students, it is used to find out the directions of a place as a magnetic needle always points in the north-south direction. Cardinal points of directions. Cardinal points are the four main points of the compass. North, South, East and West. Conventional symbols. Dearness, these are universally accepted signs or symbols drawn on map to represent certain features such as road, bridge, market, school, etc. They represent different features on a map and are not drawn to scale. Here you can see. bridge this is symbol for it trees many symbols are here a sketch what is a sketch it is a drawing not made according to scale and showing only limited features. You can see here a sketch. Plan. Drawing of a small area by using a very large scale showing minute details is known as a plan. Dear learners, it is used by architects who design houses. You can see here, this is a picture of the plan. Dear learners, at last, here is an exercise for you all. Some questions are given here. You have to read these questions and answer these questions question number first what do you know about atlas take time and reply good several maps put together in the form of a book is called an atlas next question what are the different kinds of maps good there are three types of maps physical map political map and thematic map next question what is cartography take time and reply good the art of preparing maps is called cartography next who are cartographers good one who prepares maps is called cartographer. Next and last question. What is a sketch? A drawing of an area without any scale is called a sketch. Thanks for watching this video.